congratulations. Thank you. Now, I have a couple questions for you. First of all, Big Red is the deck you chose. Yeah. Um, this is one of the, one of, if not the first major tournament win for the archetype. Exactly. Uh, not, a, not exactly an archetype that was on a ton of people's radar uh, as the biggest player in the format. Why did you decide to play Big Red in this, this tournament? Well, first of all, I, uh, I'm kind of sick of center. <laughs> I don't like it. Uh, John is all over the place. Uh, Blue White Red was a role player a week ago. So um, I figured, well, all these decks have very uh, greedy mana bases, right? <laughs> and uh, I mean, this deck, what pretty much what I'm trying to do is get free wins against the major archetypes. Right. So uh, that was the main reason why I chose it. Yeah, absolutely. The the deck has so many powerful cards, even though it's just a mono red deck, and the the land continues to burn. Exactly. Is, uh, yeah. is, is the main <laughs> impetus for the deck is Burning Earth. Was, right. How was Burning Earth on the weekend? Um, actually, it was pretty mediocre. I'm not gonna lie. I sided it out a lot because I played against Blue White Control four times, and um, I mean, I was expecting Blue White to replace Blue White Red, but um, and you can see that in my sideboard. That's why I'm running four curses. Sure. Of the Pierce Heart. Um, but. I wasn't expecting it for it to be that popular this weekend, and um, I mean, I still managed to beat it three times, and I picked up my only loss to Blue White Control. Sure. So uh, I mean, it was fine. Now that's actually one of the cards I wanted to talk about. Curse of the Pierced Heart is a card that not a lot of people even know what it does. I, yeah. I had to look it up when I was when I was first looking at your deck list. Yeah. Um, I, it's an unwrathable, un pretty much unkillable in the Blue White matchup. Yeah. One one. It, it just deals the damage every turn. Yep. So, um, why is that so good against these blue white control decks? Well, what I'm doing is I want to uh, set up. Uh, you know, I want to set. I want to lay down so that I can put a clock on them. It's an inevitability. Sure. Um, and uh, pretty much, as I as I'm paying them every turn, I mean, I'm also going to be adding pressure with my creatures, right? Sure. So they have to deal with my creatures, and on top of that, with my burn and this permanent that's dealing them uh, a point of damage every turn. Sure. And their only out to that is the Tension Sphere. So whenever I bring that in, I also bring in Ratchet Bomb and their best buddies. You yeah. know, I just set that at two and it just sits there the whole game. Right, and they're also overworking their Detention Spheres at that point, trying to get rid of Burning Earths as well, because Curse of Pierce Heart on two, Burning Earth on four, Detention Sphere's right there in the middle of three, you're always going to avoid your own yeah. enchantments. I actually cited out Burning Earth against oh, okay. the Blue White match. Oh, because, sure, against Burning Earth. Sure. Yeah, because they don't, against Blue they, don't, they only run about like nine or ten sure. non-basics, so it's not Against Blue it. White Red, it's a lot better, against of course. Blue, yeah, but, but uh, it was, com I, I didn't see it at all this sure. season. It was just not there. So. so you played Junk Aristocrats in the final yeah. uh, against Charles Johnson. Charles had a mulligan to five in game one that he won with. Um, that was and, impressive. And you were pretty, you were stuck on three lands with a bunch of four dro drops in your hand. That will happen in your deck, but once you're able to get going, uh, it's it's very easy to win. And, and that's the main reason why I decided to, to trim my my later drops. I don't know if you noticed, but the previous versions of the deck were running four Thunderbolts, four Hellriders. I decided to trim it. And that's why you see half sell it. I want to make my deck more consistent. And uh, that happens. I mean, I get stuck on three and I lose. I need to hit four and then five on sure. curve. Uh, and I don't have any ways to fix it, so I mean that'll happen. And but in that game, all I had to do was rip a land, and I was in because right. my hand was just just nothing all but Hell Riders yeah. and Chandra and things like that. Exactly. So this is an impressive year for you already. You have this is your second open win, and your third open top eight in how many tournaments? Five? I think six. Five, or six seven, tournaments. Something like that. I can't. That remember. is a a very good rate. Yeah. Um, <laughs> If, if you are eligible for Rookie of the Year, I don't know when you started on the Open Series, but if you are, you're certainly near the lead, if not in it. You have over 75 Open Points already this year. Yeah, I didn't know that until now. <laughs> yeah, which is a, a very impressive feat. You already have a buy for Indianapolis. Yeah. Um, uh, looking forward to the Invitational, uh, which is... You know, it's, it's a little bit far off. We have another set to come out before then, but yeah. many of the cards in this deck survive rotation. That's true. Um, so do you think that Big Red can be a player going forward, uh, even, even suffering the loss of the biggest top end in Thunder Mahal, Hellkite, and Hellrider? We'll have to see what kind of lands are printed in Theros, because if people decide to keep going with their, you know, non-basic mana, mana bases, right. Uh, then maybe, because you want to have the four Burning Earth main deck to make the deck good. That's, that's why the deck exists, because right. of Burning Earth. Uh, without that, 
it may evolve into just a more aggro red deck win style sure. deck. So uh, we'll have to see what Theros has to offer. Yeah, because the thing, the only things that really the deck loses are Hell Rider and Thunder Mile Hellkite. So you're losing the big top end, the whole reason for playing the big part of the big red. Exactly. So we'll have to see where it goes with Theros. Right. But congratulations once again. Thank you. Well done. Joe Herrera, and my name is Ruben Bressel here from Star City Games Baltimore. All right, so congratulations to our winner, Joe Herrera, with yeah. 